we think from our field walking and our test pitting that we've probably only touched the surface and we've we've probably know about five percent of the site if that so they've got these extraordinary things out these barbed points and answer headdresses it's within the bounds of possibility they used it as some sort of ritual place where they chucked these special objects like antler headdresses and barred points into the waters around them which I gather carries on into the Bronze Age and after so that. It may be that the sort of activities people were doing made it a special place and that may be associated with some of the finds, so perhaps the antler frontlets. Clark suggested these may be used in ritual dances. It may be this sort of association of this landscape with, with rituals that make make it sort of remem make it last in people's memory and make mean, mean they come back again and again. And because I was only a, uh, well, most people would consider me a child at 10 or 10 or 12 years old. But it was very nice to come here. And I think to a certain extent that uh, Graham Clark wondered why such a small a young person would be interested in archaeology to, to such an extent. But it, it, it's still the same today. You pick up something that hasn't been touched by human beings for more than 4,000 years, sometimes a lot, lot, lot longer.